All right, we're here with a brand new FSD beta update, 12.3.1. Tesla has just been rolling out 12.3. They can't stop. They got another update coming. So what's in this little point release? Is it going to be some major changes? Just some minor bug fixes here and there? Let's go for our first drive together and find out. I've set a destination here by the beach. So let's go. Right away, the car pulls out of its parking spot. We've got a right turn up ahead. All right, now we've got an unprotected left turn here. Pretty challenging one. We've got an obstruction on the left. There's a car behind us. Looks like it's all clear. We should be going. And the car is going. We did maybe a second or two too long there, but acceptable. Next we're going to be making a left turn onto Crenshaw Boulevard. Alright, very smooth stop starts moving before the person has left the intersection, which I like. Asserting itself, showing that it wants to go. And now we're going to be traveling down this hill. Okay. Interesting. It drove on the center line there. Not very good. Whoa. And then swung way too wide and looked like it was almost going to hit the curb. Not good there. What's going on? Okay, now it's stuck at the green light. I'm going to push down the accelerator. Not sure what's going on here. I seem to be hugging the center line a little bit there. The lane positioning does feel different a little further away from the curb. Right, we got the green light, we're off again. Now here's the truck speed limit 25 sign. It's reading that as the speed limit. But then it saw the 45 after it, now it's resuming its speed again. Now we got 
another 25 mile an hour speed limit sign coming up. And it's read that as a speed limit, it's now slowing down. It's now slowing down to 38 miles an hour, frustrating the people behind us. The guy behind me is trying to change lanes. Very annoyed. Alright, left turn, we got the green arrow, let's go, very nice, keeping much further away from the curb there, I feel like it's trying to drive further away from the curb and maybe overcorrecting a little bit. Like maybe driving a little too far away from the curb. But I guess maybe that's what you want. All right, we're continuing along now. Good speed here. Following traffic, we got a merge up ahead. Oh, I like that. It started driving in the center as we were merging. Very human behavior there. Instead of treating it like a lane change. All right, we got a stop sign here, and then there's a merge on the other side of the stop sign, so. Full NHTSA approved stop, and let's go. Very nice. Easy merge since there's no one next to us. And we're in a 35 mile an hour zone here. We're going just slightly over 35. Picking up speed a little bit, going 37 now. Pretty appropriate speed, 38. So I'm happy with the speed it's driving. All right, we got another stop sign. Stopping and continuing, very nice. Great pickup there. Next, we're gonna be hanging right onto PV Boulevard and heading down to Redondo Beach. We got a curve in the road here. Nice approach to the stop sign, didn't slow down too early.
pretty uneventful. Just driving straight, smoothly and beautifully. half a mile away from our right turn. This is kind of a crazy one with cars coming from the other direction very fast, so let's see how it handles it. Looks like this truck is pulling over to the right. The car's slowing down a little bit. And here's a bunch of pedestrians, a bunch of kids. This is potentially a dangerous situation. Okay, it slowed down as they stopped in the middle of the street. I'd say that was a pretty good response. I maybe would have let them cross, but I guess if they're stopped. All right, we got uneven pavement up ahead. Here's our stop sign and we are hanging right, merging in with this traffic here. It's a very crazy intersection. Slippery pavement. Okay, we're hugging the lane line a little bit, a little bit too much here. Center line, it's kind of weird. The lane positioning on this, I think they tried to improve it, but it may need a little more work. But, you know, I guess driving close to the center is okay if there's nobody to the side of you, like I do that. Okay, it's speeding up. Maybe because it saw that car behind us, it started speeding up. And next we're going to make a left onto Cali Miramar in a quarter mile. Making a left change to prepare, a left lane change. And here we are. This is where we're going to need to turn left. It started going into the double yellow, which it's not supposed to, but then changed its mind. And now we've got a yellow light. Very nice. I like that it didn't go into the double yellow. In old versions, it would just drive straight through it. All right, it's green, but we have to wait for traffic, which we did. Okay. All right, we're approaching a roundabout up ahead in 0.1 miles. <coughs> kind of a tight roundabout here. All right, we got a car coming through. Okay, we're slowing down for no reason. There was a pedestrian walking past a crosswalk, but it was pretty clear they weren't gonna enter the crosswalk. So that should have been an easy one. All right, now we're driving along the beach. We got a bike path on our right. We got a beautiful 
Beautiful. Oh, perfect. Flashing red lights. The old version couldn't handle these. Let's see if they fix that in this point release. Come on, please tell me this is fixed. Ah, are you kidding me? It's still not fixed. It's still doing the same weird behavior. What a bummer. I was hoping they'd at least fix that. So what did they fix exactly? I guess maybe the lane position, but it's kind of worse in some ways, so. This one may need a little more time in the oven. Really windy day today. I was hoping there'd be a lot of people out biking, running, walking, and they could pose some challenges for the car, but I guess everybody's inside because it's too windy. Alright, we got some pedestrians. And we parked. Perfect. So there you have it, our first drive, zero intervention, definitely some weird moments, arguably you could have taken over when it was uh, driving in the center there a little bit, but there were no other cars, so it wasn't urgent requiring a takeover, but uh, definitely some interesting new behavior. I'm not sure if I can say it was better than 12.3, but there you have it, that was the first drive. I'll do some more testing and let you know how it is. Thanks, everybody.